You are a lost boy. Give us the powers, or we could annihilate everyone. Oh, you're totally serious. And it's all about... Family! Family! Guys, that was a signal! The film opens at the Acropolis Museum in Athens, Greece. Hespera and Calypso, two goddesses who are also referred to as the daughters of Atlas, enter and discover the wizard Shazam's broken staff. Breaking open the container containing the staff pieces, they each take one half, absorbing its powers. Before Hespera uses her abilities to unleash an element that turns everyone to stone, Calypso uses her ability to manipulate minds to cause all the museum visitors to start fighting among themselves. The goddesses then declare that it is now appropriate for them to pursue the realm's champions. Billy Batson goes to the office of his pediatrician in his Shazam form. He thinks his family is becoming distant from him and that he isn't living up to his full potential as a superhero. He and his superhero family have likewise not been considered as very super in the eyes of their city as they have been labeled the Philadelphia fiascos. Billy returns home to his siblings. He plays games with Eugene while Pedro has taken an interest in baseball. Mary has stayed home from college and works to pay rent and Darla remains her usual cheerful and upbeat self. Freddy tends to go off on his own with his superhero persona, calling himself Captain Everpower. Billy and Freddy overhear news of trouble going on in the city, and while Freddy wants just the two of them to take care of things, Billy calls upon his siblings to join them and take on their own forms. The siblings also continue to keep their superhero identities a secret from Victor and Rosa. The Benjamin Franklin Bridge is starting to come apart. People begin abandoning their cars in a panic before the Shazam family arrives and gets people to safety. They manage to save everyone, but despite their heroics, they fail to stop the bridge from completely collapsing, and they are still called the Philly Fiascos. Shazam gathers the siblings at their Rock of Eternity hideout, but they each have their own commitments to get to. Mary stays to talk to him about how he has to accept that things are changing with the family and that it might be time for him to move on as well. In the realm of the gods, the wizard is imprisoned in a cell after seemingly dying after transferring his powers to Billy. He is met by Hespera and Calypso, who force him to repair the staff. The staff was the only thing keeping the daughters of Atlas from entering the human realm, and after it was destroyed, they came for revenge, as they consider the wizard a traitor for working against Atlas. At high school, Freddy bumps into a new girl, Anne. He immediately becomes smitten with her, and she seems interested in him, but the moment is ruined by bonehead bully brothers Brat and Burke Brayer. Despite them, Anne lets Freddy walk her to class, and he realizes he has a crush. Billy has a dream that he is Shazam on a date with Wonder Woman before the wizard takes her appearance, which creeps Billy out, so that he may warn Billy about the daughters of Atlas and what they are planning to do, but he is weakened before he can tell Billy how to stop them. Billy later goes to warn his siblings about the potential threat. At the Rock of Eternity, the siblings learn that the daughters of Atlas guard the Tree of Life, which produces golden apples that contain the seeds of life, and they also have a mythical dragon at their disposal. Pedro shows them a secret room full of archives and books on various magic artifacts, along with a sentient quill named Steve, who directs them to the books they need to find on the daughters. They discover that it was Billy's fault for the barrier between worlds being broken because he was the one that broke the staff when they fought Dr. Savannah. The siblings also learn about Hespera, Calypso, and a third sister, Anthea, Akayan. Billy knows Freddy is in trouble. Freddy meets with Anthea on the roof of the school, where he wants to show her his superhero self. As he does so, Hesper and Calypso show up, and Calypso uses the staff to depower Freddy. His teacher comes up to intervene, but Calypso uses her power to make the teacher walk off the roof to his death. Before they can harm Freddy, Anthea uses her power to manipulate the environment. The Shazam siblings then arrive to try and fight, but Freddy tries to hold them back or they will be depowered too. The sisters create a platform with Freddy as their hostage, floating high into the sky until Hesper forms a giant dome around the city, trapping everything and everyone inside. Shazam can only watch as Freddy is taken. Freddy is imprisoned with the wizard, who formally meets him and learns of his relation to Billy. The wizard considers choosing Billy as the champion to be a failure on his part, and so he wallows in his cell. While Freddy tries to think of an escape plan, the wizard tells him anything he thinks of would be useless against the daughters. Freddy's siblings then use Steve to write a letter to the daughters to try and reason with them for Freddy's safe release. Calypso instead tortures Freddy with her powers and traps him and the wizard in a pit with their dragon, Ladon the World Ender. Ladon's powers cause Freddy and the wizard to be unable to run, but Anthea uses her powers to free them before Ladon can kill them. 
Shazam arranges a meeting with Hesper to try and get Freddy back and to get rid of the doll. She arrives and expresses her anger at teenagers taking the powers of the gods when she sees them as unworthy. When the rest of the siblings show up, Calypso gets the drop on them and uses the staff to depower Pedro. Shazam fights Hesper underground, where she attempts to wrap Mary and Darla in wires, and Hesper tries to use a large ball of melded materials to attack Shazam. But he uses his super speed to put her in the path of her own projectile, knocking her out and allowing the siblings to bring her back to the Rock of Eternity. The siblings imprison Hespera and try to go over what to do next, but not long after, Darla discovers that Hespera has escaped. They realize that she always intended to be captured. She goes through their library and picks up what Billy thought was a paperweight when it was actually a golden apple covered in black dust. The siblings follow her as she brings the apple to Calypso and Anthea. Meanwhile, Freddy and the wizard attempt to acquire the apple themselves since Calypso suggests planting the seed of life on Earth and unleashing their army of monsters. Freddy almost manages to get away with the apple but draws the sisters' attention. Shazam makes his way in and grabs the staff, but Calypso takes it back. The wizard returns Freddy his powers as they escape. Calypso attempts to use the staff against them, despite Hespera's orders, but Calypso thinks her sisters have gotten soft. She then summons Ladon to rise and go after the champions. The heroes run to Victor and Rosa to get them to safety, but they have to come clean over their superhero identities. Pedro also uses the opportunity to come out as gay to the family, but they all knew already and are supportive of him. Ladon then begins to chomp through the house, forcing everyone to run into the city. Calypso chases after them while riding Ladon, and she depowers everyone except Billy before grabbing the apple. She brings it to the Lincoln financial field and places the apple in the ground, sprouting the tree of life and giving birth to hideous monsters that begin to attack and kill innocent civilians. Anthea attempts to go after her sisters herself after meeting with the Shazam family, and while Freddy goes after her, she kisses him so he may stay behind and not get hurt. Billy resolves that it is up to him and him alone to save the day. He has a brief talk with Rosa in his normal teenage form, as he thinks he will get kicked out of the house due to aging out of the foster system, but she tells him he will always have a home with them. The wizard tells the siblings that there is one force that can fight the monsters, and that's the unicorns. However, he tells them that they are not like the pretty ponies in stories, but are violent creatures who hate humans. After learning what can appease unicorns, they learn that one of them is Ambrosia, and Darla has an idea. They locate the unicorns, and she feeds them Skittles, which the unicorn appreciates and has its fellow unicorns arrive to let the siblings mount them and charge into the city to fight the monsters. Anthea attempts to get through to her sisters since the Tree of Life does not belong on Earth's soil. When it seems that Hespera has come around and will go against Calypso, she uses Ladon to impale Hespera and then uses the staff to depower Anthe. Shazam finds Hespera's body and manages to revive her so that she may help stop Calypso by trapping her inside the dome. He then finds Calypso and Ladon as they nearly kill Freddy and Anthea, and he manages to swipe the staff from her so she may chase after him. He lures Calypso to the field, and Hespera manages to shrink the dome down to the size of the stadium, enraging Calypso. Billy's family watches from outside the dome as he faces off against the angry goddess and her dragon. He uses the staff to power himself up and bash Ladon's face, and the dragon's fire causes his suit to burn to a crisp. Shazam then charges himself up with the staff, summoning a powerful bolt of lightning that destroys the dome and obliterates both Calypso and Ladon to ashes. Hespera quietly acknowledges Billy as both a hero and a god, before she too dies for good. The family runs into the field to find Billy, and Freddy finds his lifeless body by the remains of the tree. Despite their efforts to wake him up, Billy really is dead. The wizard brings the family, plus Anthea, to the realm of the gods to give Billy a proper burial. The wizard states that with Anthea losing her powers and her sisters dead, there are no gods left that could revive Billy, until a voice calls out, there is one. The family turns around to find none other than Wonder Woman. She received an earlier message from Billy, and she uses her goddess powers to power up the staff over Billy's grave to revive him, and in turn, restores the powers to Anthea and the siblings. Shazam then rises from his grave and hugs his family. He then attempts to shoot his shot with Wonder Woman, but she tells him to stick to saving the world. The family returns home after repairing it, and they have taken Anthea in as well since she and Freddy are now an official couple. They are visited by the wizard, who is now choosing to live life on Earth as a civilian instead of wasting away in another realm. He is thankful to the family for helping him, and they view him as a friend too. Billy then asks the wizard what his own superhero name is, and he tells him it has always been Shazam. mid credit scene, Emilia Harcourt and John Economos walk into a place in the woods where Shazam is practicing his powers. They offer him an invitation to the Justice Society per Amanda Waller's orders, though he accepts before they finish talking since he thought he was getting invited to the Justice League. Shazam then thinks of better names for the Justice Society since it's confusing having two superhero teams with justice in their name. 
post credit scene, Dr. Savannah continues to live in his cell, desperate for a way to reclaim his power. He is met once again by Mr. Mind, but Savannah is frustrated that Mr. Mind appeared to plan something with him, only to abandon Savannah for years. Mr. Mind insists that their plans will soon be set in motion, only to once again slither out of Savannah's cell. 